Hi viewers, today I went to the Southern Ontario Orchid Society's Orchid Show for 2014 with my mom. Both my mom and I are orchid lovers and we're so excited to be there. The tickets were very reasonable. The atmosphere was exciting because all you could hear while waiting in line to get in was orchid talk. I was amazed by how many orchids were native to our province. And of course, our first stop after the coat check was to view all the orchids on display. Aren't they fabulous? Words can't describe the various arrangements that were there, so I thought I would share some of them with you to get a taste of it. Of course, as you can see, my mom nor I are professional photographers, uh, nor even good ones at that. So these pictures really don't do justice to the beauty of the displays or the orchids there. But in any case, I hope you enjoy them. There were plumes of blooms uh, in all colors of the rainbows. And, and I'm not kidding, but they were breathtaking. We tried to capture some of the prize winners and even a very interesting garden set that would have been perfect to stop to admire the orchids. Only thing it was the perfect size for pixies. Each display was so well put together that it might have been a backdrop for a fairy tale illustration. This was surely a fun project, and if you enjoy watching more videos on orchids and gardenings and such, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We walked around and around and around, admiring all the vandas extending over five feet long, I'm not kidding, with their enormous root systems. Dendrobium canes without leaves and full of blooms mounted minis and giant phalaenopsis from the Far East. <coughs> I wish I could remember or even capture each one with its name, but it was more intoxicating with just the sight. It was just too much to take in, so we had to move on and get some for ourselves. If only we could just hustle through the crowd now to get to the sales counters. But I'll let you enjoy some of these pictures before I go on to show you some of the orchids that we did purchase. Once we head on into the sales area, you want to buy them all. There's so many of them, but of course that's not possible. So we got a few and then we had to make a big decision on who gets what. But my mom is sweet enough to let me choose. So stay tuned for updates on the ones that I did decide to keep. Okay, so first up we got the Maxillaria tenufolia or the coconut orchid as it's called. Its blooms are um, supposed to have the fragrance of coconut cream. Can't wait for that. Flowers are expected in March of, or April. Next, we have the Colmenara Wildcat Purple Fairy. The sprays of flowers extend over two feet tall, and this is the first of its kind in our collection. We were careful to pick a plant that had lots of buds with some blooms so that we could enjoy it instantly and for many weeks to come. Here is a Catalia called Taiwan Green Emerald. It's supposed to have speckled blooms in purples and pink. It's a small plant and will be a while before there is a bloom on this one. So it's all about patience. This was another young orchid that we purchased that was labeled as a DTPS but clearly looks to be a Catalia. So it's the mystery Catalia that we'll just have to wait and see. Next uh, is another seedling that is a cross of Lilia and Catalia. I hope I'm saying it right. Said to have beautiful blooms of white with a purple lip and it's uh, got its typical Lilia shape. Here is uh, Samba Princess, pretty in pink. Again, another one from the Catalias. Uh, and this one is a compact plant with blooms in pink and yellow combination. And as a bonus, it is also said to be fragrant. He, here is an Oncidium hybrid called Wilsonara Guanxin. We got it with blooms to enjoy right away. And for just $10, it was hard to resist. 
So that's it for this time. Please do subscribe to be notified of updates on these beauties and more. And until next time, bye.